Tomo News presents 3D Printing. Sexy cyber criminal hides hacking tools inside her heels. A hot Chinese hacker named Sexy Cyborg has 3D printed a pair of shoes with hidden compartments for hidden Wi-Fi testing tools that would allow her to secretly gain access to corporate computers. In order to gain entry into a facility, Sexy Cyborg says she could use her body, which she happens to cover up very little of, and as even secure facilities typically don't check shoes, she says she can in theory glide right on in and use the hacking devices inside her high heels, which includes a wireless router running OpenWRT with a built-in rechargeable battery, a USB keystroke recorder, a retractable Ethernet cable, and a lockpick. The wireless router could either be left running inside her shoes for Wi-Fi sniffing and logging even while walking, or be removed and plugged into an open network jack to have instant remote access to the victim's computer and monitor as well as what they're typing on their keyboard. Sexy Cyborg, who says she made the shoes with a 3D printer, has published the designs online for anyone to download. Whether or not this hacking trick even works remains to be seen, but going public with the details of how it works will probably make any future hack attempt by Sexy Cyborg all the more difficult. A 3D printed plastic cast, dubbed the Cortex Exoskeleton, is a finalist for the 2013 James Dyson Award. Widely used traditional orthopedic casts are bulky and inconvenient. X-ray scans of the breaks in the bone allow the cortex exoskeleton to be printed to fit exactly over the affected limb, with an extra membrane over the point of injury. The technology is waterproof, allowing wearers to wash even with the cast on. The design allows the limb to breathe, and wearers can scratch and itch even while wearing the cast. The cast is also thin and flexible enough that clothes can be worn over it. The winner of the International Student Design Award will be announced within a week. Amsterdam to get the world's first 3D printed pedestrian bridge. A Dutch startup company has announced plans to draw a steel structure over water in Amsterdam. Dutch company MX3D plans to print a bridge across an Amsterdam canal, with the project set to begin in September. The computer program plots designs while robotic arms heat metal to 1,500 degrees Celsius, around 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit, to weld structures drop by drop. This technique removes the need for scaffolding and people as the robotic arms are supported by the very structure they are printing. This essentially means robotic arms will walk across the canal as a bridge is being created. According to the company, this technique could become standard on future construction projects, especially on high-rise structures that are more dangerous for human builders. A New Zealand design student has used 3D printing technology to produce a modern take on the age-old process of healing a broken bone. The new process would require a fracture patient to have a 3D scan of their injured limb. The X-ray and scan data are then used to create a customized exoskeletal cast that can be strengthened to offer more support around the fracture. The cast is then manufactured using a 3D printer. The resulting cast is a recyclable polyamide cast that holds several advantages over traditional plaster and fiberglass casts, including water resistance, better ventilation, and hygiene and better aesthetic. The current production time for a Cortex cast is around 24 to 72 hours, but advances in 3D printing technology suggest the lead time can be greatly reduced. US space agency NASA is funding a company to develop 3D printing of foods. Advocates of 3D printing technology say delivering long-life foods from alternative ingredients could help solve the problem of feeding astronauts and ease food shortages on Earth. Manned space missions require stocks of non-perishable foods. 3D printing could be a promising solution to the problem of feeding crews. Traditionally, food sources perish easily. Proteins, vitamins, fibers and carbohydrates can be derived from alternative nutrient sources like insects, grasses, algae and seeds. Stored as powders, they can last for years. When combined with sugars and oils, nutritionally dense foods can be created layer by layer. NASA will provide US firm and Jan contractor with $125,000 over six months to make the technology viable. 3D printing is already used to build complex machine parts and furniture. The world's first entirely 3D printed handgun, the Liberator, has been fired successfully in the US. Blueprints of the gun were first drawn up using computer software, then sent to a 3D printer. 3D printing technology involves building up layers of material, typically plastic, in order to print intricate solid objects. 
All 16 pieces of the Liberator were printed using ABS plastic, but the manufacturers added a nail as a firing pin, making it detectable by metal detectors. The gun is designed to fire standard handgun rounds. Critics are concerned, as people can print the weapon without adding metal components, making it virtually undetectable. Once the file is available online, anyone will be able to download and print the gun without a serial number, background check or other regulatory hurdles. 3D Gel Brain helps scientists understand development of folds. Not all species have folded brains. Humans are just one. Cats, dogs, whales and elephants are others. Folded brains are believed to be an evolutionary effect caused by trying to fit a large cortex, the thinking area of the brain, into a small skull. How this happens has been a mystery. Until now. Researchers at Harvard used a 3D gel model of a fetal brain at 22 weeks old. They coated the brain in a layer of elastomer gel to replicate the cortex. Next, it was emerged in a solvent causing it to swell and within minutes, folds formed. The end result matched the shape and grooves usually found in a typical 34-week-old human brain. Based on the study, researchers believe folds can be caused by physics whereby the outer portion of the brain grows faster than the rest and crumples. Another explanation is that biochemical signals might trigger expansion and contraction in particular parts of the cortex, or that the folds arise because of stronger connections in certain areas. And, while this is just one small step for brain research, it's a giant leap for 3D printers. A technology that can produce lithium-ion microbatteries with 3D printers has been developed by Harvard scientist Jennifer Lewis. To make the ink, nanoparticles of lithium-titanium oxide are added to a vial of deionized water and ethylene glycol. Ceramic balls are used as agitators to break down the particles. The mixture is spun for 24 hours. The balls and larger particles are removed with filters in a centrifuge. The resulting ink is placed in a syringe and inserted into a high-pressure dispenser on a 3D printer. The ink is solid when unperturbed, but flows under high pressure. The ink is printed on a glass substrate with a gold current collector, where it solidifies to create the battery's anode and cathode. A tiny container filled with an electrolyte solution encloses the electrodes to complete the battery. The printed battery is about one millimeter square. The batteries could be used in miniaturized medical implants, compact electronics, and tiny robots. The technology is still at an early stage, but the ability to print batteries and other electronics could make it possible to manufacture new kinds of small devices. San Diego-based company Organovo has developed a bioprinter that is making strips of liver tissue that could be used to test new drugs before they're administered to humans. One of the two printer's syringes is filled with spheroids containing parenchymal liver cells which are used to assess the potential toxicity or efficacy of drugs. The second syringe contains bio-ink with non-parenchymal liver cells which bolster cellular development and a hydrogel that helps with extrusion. A computer connected to the printer instructs a robotic arm that moves the syringe to print a mold in a honeycomb pattern. A small sensor then determines the location of the first syringe. Then parenchymal cells are added to the well plate mold. Once the different cells are mixed, the well plate is placed into an incubator where they continue fusing until they eventually form the complex matrix of a liver tissue. According to Organovo's website, the ultimate goal of studies like these is to develop living, multicellular human tissues that can be maintained in laboratories for both functional and histological changes in response to injury, pathogens or treatments. The replicator from Star Trek will soon become a reality. Silicon Valley startup Made in Space has built the first 3D printer for use in zero gravity and NASA is preparing to launch it into space in 2014. The toaster-sized 3D printer will be launched into space aboard commercial spaceflight provider SpaceX's Dragon capsule. The printer will have to withstand several challenges, including vibrations during launch, differing air pressures and variable temperatures. 3D printing capability on the space station will mean astronauts don't need to load up with tools, spare parts or supplies. It also saves a huge amount of inventory in space. 
3D printers build objects layer by layer through the application of melted polymer. And although manufacturing consumes a lot of power, the astronauts will be less dependent on Earth as they will be able to produce the tools and spare parts they need. Jason Dunn, Chief Technology Officer of Made in Space, joked that the company's next project would involve building a Death Star. SpaceX Falcon cargo ship launched from Florida. SpaceX has launched a Falcon 9 rocket into orbit on Sunday in the second Dragon mission of 2014 to resupply the International Space Station. This Falcon 9 V1.1 consists of two sections, a pressurized capsule and an unpressurized truck section. The pressurized section is carrying 2,300 kilograms of supplies including food and beverage, and equipment including lithium batteries and a 3D printer, which are destined to the six-member crew at the International Space Station. Falcon 9 is scheduled to arrive at the ISS early Tuesday. The 3D printer, developed by Made in Space, will also mark the first one sent out to the space that allows astronauts to print out spare parts on the spot. The American Dental Association recommends that people brush their teeth at least three to four times each day. But now, a company called Blizzardent is marketing a device of the same name it says can achieve the same results in only six seconds. A dentist first makes an impression of a patient's teeth using the same technique used to mold braces. The company then uses a 3D printer to make a customized mouthguard based on the mold. Each device contains 400 bristles, which are fitted onto the mouthguard at a 45 degree angle. Instead of brushing, users bite and grind their teeth on the brush. This action enables the bristles to get to difficult to reach regions. The handle doubles as a floss dispenser. The device also has a built-in tongue scraper. Blizzardent claims its device can clean the teeth in places handheld toothbrushes can't reach. The Blizzard End costs $299 and must be replaced once a year. In a groundbreaking procedure, US researchers used a 3D printer to create a custom life-saving implant for a baby boy. At just six weeks old, Kaiba Gionfrido came down with a life-threatening disorder that left him constantly gasping for air. The rare condition, called tracheobronchomalacia, occurs when the windpipe is so fragile it collapses bulging inwards and preventing air from flowing into the lungs. Researchers at the University of Michigan used 3D printers to create a device out of a material called polycaprolactone, designed to dissolve in three years' time once the baby has grown. The splint was made to fit precisely around the baby's airway, hold it open and allow him to breathe. Three weeks after the procedure, the now 20-month-old no longer needs a ventilator to help him breathe. The case represented the first time 3D printing was used in the creation of a medical device that saved someone's life, according to a live science report. Scientists plan to test vaccines on miniature human organs made with 3D printing. First human cells are cultivated. The cells are then used in a 3D printer to create miniature organs. The organs are about as big as a cookie. Vaccines can then be trialled on the human organs. Tests being carried out at the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine in North Carolina are the first to combine several organs on the same device, which then model the human response to chemical toxins or biologic agents. Iron Man delivers 3D printed bionic arm to boy born with missing limb. A team of engineering students led by Albert Monero at the University of Central Florida are on a mission to literally give a helping hand to children with missing limbs. Robert Downey Jr. teamed up with Limitless Solutions and Microsoft's collective project to deliver a specially designed 3D printed limb to Alex Mead, a seven-year-old boy born with an underdeveloped right arm. Inspired by a story about a South African who printed a hand, Monero was driving when he came up with the idea to help kids in need. He teamed up with friends and colleagues to create prosthetic limbs with a 3D printer. After the printing's finished, the arm's then assembled by Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, or anyone else willing to lend a hand, pun intended. At a muscle sensor, an Arduino Micro, an aircraft servo, toss in a battery, and boy, you got yourself a bionic arm. 
A new VIM costs just 350 bucks for the materials, less than 1% of the normal market price of $40,000. Take that, creepy prosthetic arm salesman! If you'd like to donate to Limitless Solutions, we've included a link in the description. And if you're looking to print one yourself, Monero has shared the template and all the instructions on the 3D printing site Thingiverse. Thanks, Iron Man.